Bayer Designation A Bayer Designation is a stellar designation in which a specific star is identified by a Greek or Latin letter followed by the genitive form of its parent constellation's Latin name. The original list of Bayer designations contained 1,564 stars. Most of the brighter stars were assigned their first systematic names by the German astronomer Johann Bayer in 1603, in his star atlas Uranometria. Bayer assigned the lowercase Greek letter, alpha, alpha, beta, beta, gamma, gamma, etc., or a Latin letter, A, B, C, etc., to each star he catalogued. Combined with the Latin name of the star's parent constellation in genitive, possessive, form. See 88 modern constellations for the genitive forms, for example, Aldebaran in the constellation Taurus, the bull, is designated Alpha Tauri, pronounced Alpha Tauri, which means Alpha of the bull. Bayer used Greek letters for the brighter stars, but the Greek alphabet has only 24 letters, while a single constellation may contain 50 or more stars visible to the naked eye. When the Greek letters ran out, Bayer continued with Latin letters, uppercase A, followed by lowercase b through z, omitting j and v, for a total of another 24 letters. Bayer never went beyond z, but later astronomers added more designations using both upper and lowercase Latin letters, the uppercase letters following the lowercase ones in general. Examples include S. Carini, S of the constellation Carina, D. Centauri, D of the constellation Centaurus, G. Scorpii. G of the constellation Scorpius, and N. Bellorum, and of the constellation Vela. The last uppercase letter used in this way was Q. Bayer catalogued only a few stars too far south to be seen from Germany, but later astronomers, notably Lakai and Gold, supplemented Bayer's catalog with entries for southern constellations. In most constellations, Bayer assigned Greek and Latin letters to stars within a constellation in rough order of apparent brightness, from brightest to dimmest up since the brightest star in a majority of constellations is designated Alpha, Alpha, many people wrongly assume that Bayer meant to order the stars exclusively be brightness. In Bayer's day, however, stellar brightness could not be measured precisely. Stars were traditionally assigned to one of six magnitude classes the brightest to first magnitude, the dimmest to sixth and Bayer typically ordered stars within a constellation by class, all the first magnitude stars, followed by all the second magnitude stars, and so on. Within each magnitude class, Bayer made no attempt to arrange stars by relative brightness. As a result, the brightest star in each class did not always get listed first in Bayer's order. But in addition, Bayer did not always follow the magnitude class rule, he sometimes assigned letters to stars according to their location within a constellation, or the order of their rising, or to historical or mythological details. Occasionally the order looks quite arbitrary. Of the 88 modern constellations, there are at least 30 in which Alpha is not the brightest star, and four of those lack an Alpha star altogether. Constellations with no Alpha include Vela and Puppis, both formerly part of Argo Nabis, whose Alpha is Canopus and Carina. Orion provides a good example of Bayer's method. Bayer first designated Betelgeuse and Rigel, the two first magnitude stars, those of magnitude 1.5 or less, as Alpha and Beta from north to south, with Betelgeuse, the shoulder, coming ahead of Rigel, the foot, even though the latter is usually the brighter. Betelgeuse is a variable star and can at its maximum occasionally outshine Rigel. Bayer then repeated the procedure for the stars of the second magnitude, thus a between magnitudes 1.51 and 2.5 labeling them from gamma through zeta in top-down, north to south, order. The first to rise in the east order is used in a number of instances. Castor and Pollux of Gemini may be an example of this. Pollux is brighter than Castor, but the latter rises earlier and was assigned alpha. In this case, Bayer may also have been influenced by the traditional order of the mythological names Castor and Pollux. Castor is generally named first whenever the twins are mentioned. Although the brightest star in Draco is Altonine, Gamma Draconis, Thubin was assigned Alpha, Alpha, by Bayer because, due to precession, Thubin was the North Pole star 4,000 years ago. Sometimes there is no apparent order, as exemplified by the stars in Sagittarius, where Bayer's designations appear almost random to the modern eye. Alpha and Beta Sagittarii are perhaps the most anomalously designated stars in the sky. They are more than two magnitudes fainter than the brightest star designated Epsilon, they lie several degrees south of the main pattern, the teapot asterism, they are more than 20 degrees off the ecliptic in a zodiacal constellation, 
and they do not even rise from Bayer's native Germany, while Epsilon and several other brighter stars do. The order of the letters assigned in Sagittarius does correspond to the magnitudes as illustrated on Bayer's chart, but the latter do not agree with modern determinations of the magnitude. Bayer designations added by later astronomers generally were ordered by magnitude, but care was usually taken to avoid conflict with designations already assigned. In Libra, for example, the new designations Sigma, Tau, and Upsilon were chosen to avoid conflict with Bayer's earlier designations, even though several stars with earlier letters are not as bright. Although Bayer did not use uppercase Latin letters, except A, for fixed stars, he did use them to label other items shown on his charts, such as neighboring constellations, temporary stars, miscellaneous astronomical objects, or reference lines like the Tropic of Cancer. In Cygnus, for example, Bayer's fixed stars run through G. And on this chart Bayer employs H through P as miscellaneous labels, mostly for neighboring constellations. Bayer did not intend such labels as catalog designations, but some have survived to refer to astronomical objects, P Cygni for example is still as a designation for Nova Sig 1600. Tycho's star, SN 1572, another temporary star, appears as B Cassiopeia dot in charts for constellations that did not exhaust the Greek letters. Bayer sometimes used the leftover Greek letters for miscellaneous labels as well. Ptolemy designated four stars as border stars, each shared by two constellations, Alpharats, in Andromeda and Pegasus, Elnith, in Taurus and Auriga, New Booties, in Boötes and Hercules, and Fumalot, in Pisces Austrinus and Aquarius. Bayer assigned the first three of these stars a Greek letter from both constellations, and he catalogued Fumalot only once, as Alpha PC Sostrini, when the International Astronomical Union, IAU, assigned definite boundaries to the constellations in 1930, it declared that stars and other celestial objects can belong to only one constellation. Consequently, the redundant second designation and each pair above has dropped out of use. Speyer assigned two stars duplicate names by mistake, duplicated as, and, duplicated as. He corrected these in a later atlas, and the duplicate names were no longer used. Other cases of multiple Bayer designations arose when stars named by Bayer in one constellation were transferred by later astronomers to a different constellation. Bayer's Gamma and Omicron Scorpii, for example, were later reassigned from Scorpius to Libra and given the new names Sigma and Upsilon Libri. To add to the confusion, the star now known as Omicron Scorpii was not named by Bayer but was assigned the designation O Scorpii, Latin lowercase o, by Lagai which later astronomers misinterpreted as Omicron once Bayer's Omicron had been reassigned to Libra. A few stars no longer lie, according to the modern constellation boundaries, within the constellation for which they are named off the proper motion of Rho Aquilae, for example, carried it across the boundary into Delphinus in 1992. Bayer designations are most often written as the Greek or Latin letter followed by the standard three-character constellation abbreviation, Alpha Gma, Theta Per, or occasionally with the constellation genitive in full, Alpha Canis Majoris, Beta Per Se. Earlier four-letter abbreviations, Alpha C Maj, Beta Perse, are rarely used today. The Greek letter names are sometimes written out as well, Alpha Canis Majoris, Beta Per Se. The Latin letter extended designations are not as commonly used as the Greek letter ones, especially in constellations with Flamsteed designations, but there are some exceptions such as H Per Se which is actually a star cluster, and P. Cygni. Uppercase Latin Bayer designations in modern use do not go beyond. Names such as Arleporis and W. Ursi Majoris are variable star designations, not Bayer designations. A further complication is the use of numeric superscripts to distinguish neighboring stars that Bayer, or a later astronomer, labeled with a common letter. Usually these are double stars, mostly optical doubles rather than true binary stars. But there are some exceptions such as the chain of stars Pi, 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 Pi and Pi Orionis. Bayer did not label permanent stars with uppercase letters, except for A, which he used in place of A. However, a number of stars in southern constellations shave uppercase letter designations, like B Centauri and G Scorpii. These letters were assigned by later astronomers, notably Lacai in his Coelum Australis Deliferum and Gould in his Uranometria Argentina. Lakai followed Bayer's use of Greek letters, but this was insufficient for many constellations. He used first the lowercase letters, starting with A, and if needed the uppercase letters, starting with A, 
thus deviating somewhat from Bayer's practice. Lakai used the Latin alphabet three times over in the large constellation Argo Navis, once for each of the three areas that are now the constellations of Carina, Puppis, and Vela. That was still insufficient for the number of stars, so he also used uppercase Latin letters such as Envelorum and Q. Puppis. Lakai assigned uppercase letters between R and Z in several constellations, but these have either been dropped to allow the assignment of those letters to variable stars or have actually turned out to be variable. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.